Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing something that was requested by Bosco24 in one of my later videos I wouldn't say that late it was like a month ago or more than a month ago so it's not that uh, it's not a lot it's not uh, it's a long time ago that's what I'm trying to say but I finally got into doing it um, this is well in that that video was me driving around the Nurburgring GT track because uh, of course we were going there we we're going to race there in the uh, F1 in, in IRL F1 so I thought you know what let's let's race there uh, in Gran Turismo Sport with the 2017 Formula One car. If you have not checked that video out, make sure to do it. It's gonna be there's gonna be a link in the top right hand corner of your screen. Um, but uh, in that video, Bosco challenged me to uh, do a hot lap of the entire, or it didn't, really, it didn't specifically say hot lap, but that's what I did, of the entire Nurburgring Norton life on this uh, Mercedes AMG Formula 1 2017 car. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Right, so here we go now to start this lap. I'm going to actually comment on it. Uh, which is going to be a very long comment, it's going to be 5 minutes of me just commenting about my own lap but whatever the guys, let's get into it, here we are now on the Mercedes, you can see here and here break right after the um, board, the, not, the guardrail on the right ends then here you can take all this section flat and then I use the cones to decide a break, if you don't use the cones then I wouldn't really be able to tell you here but try to clip those both inside curbs, I didn't really clip them but don't mount them here instead mount that curb with the gray where there is a gray in the curb you usually want to mount it here there's the only place you don't want to mount the curb because if you do then you're gonna do a jump uh then here yeah now holding drs only for this straight and then for a couple more straights and yeah there's a jump but this uh this this car won't jump then take this flat um clip the curb um use the drs here as well at least that's what i did and then here we go now down in this long straight uh sorry about that uh and then here now through the left and they're taking this flat and then bringing it and going down to third gear uh, and trying to get a lot of traction in the exit don't don't go on that exit curb I mean you can but it might slow you down here we got still taking all this flat and you can actually take this next corner flat and that's what we're gonna do uh, it's gonna be you gotta be really really careful about it but you can take this flat then hard break I don't know if I took a flat there I wasn't looking at the telemetry but if uh, I didn't then it's probably better not to but here we go and then clipping both curb both the inside curbs and the inside curb again and then the outside curb uh, I don't know if that made sense but here we go and then taking this flat I believe um, and then here hard breaking down to set down to f no no staying in fourth actually uh, and then here once again that hard breaking this time you do want to go down to second to get the car turned in and then there's a bit of breathing time taking this flat taking this flat and then you can take this flat as well I believe just staying in seventh gear not going up to eighth so that the car doesn't get in, get too much speed uh, then here very on the steel corner just do the best you can there in second gear and then here once again it's very I, I would actually break a little bit earlier here and then take all the exit curb if you can if you go wide take exit curb make sure to clip the inside curb in that corner that's the most important part and we have that corner with like there's a little bit of a jump not a, a little bit of a dip you have to make sure you get you you're stable there then here there's a big breaking zone it looks like there isn't it looks like the corner is just very shallow if that makes sense but it actually tightens up then here I'm using the RS once again in this section um, here we go now through the uh, bunch of corners here. Just take it, just just so make a line that make allows you to scrub off to scrub off as little speed as you possibly can. Um, and then here we go now through this left hand. They're taking it flat and keeping our foot pinned to the floor as we take this one flat as well. And then here we have to break though quite quite hard here. Uh, we're actually gonna go a bit wide. No, we're not gonna go wide. Uh, you gotta break though there because you might. End up going around it. Here is a very tricky corner with no traction control. Go down to third. I wouldn't go down to second. Actually, I did go down to second. So if you can manage the traction in second, then that's better. But if you can't, then just stay in third because that will make it easier. And make sure to stay on the gray like banking part because that will get you the best traction and speed. Oh, well, not the best traction, but definitely the best speed. Um, yeah, definitely the best speed. Then here, uh, you see, you saw they're just opening up for that right hand, and then here, just trying to go as fast as you can taking this one flat as well, this one flat, this one flat, uh, and then here bra starting breaking, but not that much, uh, then once again this one a bit of a breaking zone, uh, and then here you might want to take it flat, but you need a little bit of a lift, 
I did maybe lift off too much there. Here we go. Now this corner is a bit, t it's a bit tricky. Uh, just make sure to keep the car on the track. Uh, and this one is also a bit tricky. These couple of corners. Then here, this is an important section here. Just. Uh, we're getting to the important section, actually not yet. Here, uh, break a little bit earlier, I would say, because then you're able to set up this section much better, much nicer. And now here we go now through the section, taking all this flat. This is easy flat. Uh, I weave a little bit too much here. Weave, I try to weave a little bit less. I don't know why I weave that much. I just try to cut through the curbs, but don't actually touch the curb itself. A little lift off there, break, break in zone. Well, not that break, but break in there. And here, once again, staying uh, on the gray part and then going up above in the exit. In the exit of this one, try to actually cut to the actual tarmac. Here, you can take that flat and you can take all of this flat. Uh, in the banking, in the second banking, um, now we have a little bit of breaking time in the straight, I can tell you. In the second banking, take that in third because it allows you, it allows you to carry more speed through it. Um, here we go now and then through this long, long straight, just waiting, uh, just, just waiting for it to end. Just sit, just take this moment to relax. You've done a really good job in the entire lap, or at least I've done in this lap. So just take this moment to relax. Uh, then here it is very important just to carry as much speed through it. I would like to break a little bit earlier sometimes and then speed up again. Uh, then here, try to clip that in second but I just missed it. And then here, breaking hard, down a second here, uh, clip the outside curb. And then to the line, it's a 505.157. Really, really happy about this lap. I've been. It might. I might say that this was my own my first lap, but that's because every time you reset, uh, every time you redo, it resets. But that's been it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.